how to add wholesale to your Shopify store. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the steps on how you can add wholesale to your very own Shopify store and how you can allow yourself to basically, you know, add all the necessary retailers if you want to. And a wholesale is really simple. And even with a wholesale, you can add different thrifts and whatever type of product you wanna go with. You know, it all depends on the creation and your creativity process. So to start things off and to actually walk ourselves through all of this, what we are gonna want to do is we're gonna want to have an idea of the whole store creation. And I would prefer that you have an idea of how to use Shopify because Shopify, although it isn't complicated, but you do need to know the general idea of, you know, e-commerce and how the store actually works to, you know, actually follow this tutorial or else a lot of things won't make sense. You're just going to be following me without knowing what's actually going on. So what you're going to do is, uh, you know, go on start free trial, create an account. And once your account is created, uh, you're going to set up everything and, uh, you know, it's going to give you a whole setup guide to fully complete your setup on Shopify. And that is really important and really compulsory. And I would definitely tell you to complete your setup because if your setup is not completed, then adding things into your store, it wouldn't be wise. It wouldn't make sense. So yeah, definitely add things into your store. And then moving on, once you're over here, you know, here's my store. Here's our setup guide. Uh, you're going to make sure to complete your setup guide. But yeah, mostly all of these uh, things are pretty common and you can go through these really easily. Now, to start things off, obviously, to add a wholesale to your store, you know, you're going to make sure that your online store is properly set it up and that you have a proper theme for your online store that is also set it up. And uh, you don't have to be um, owning any domain for this. You can do this. So uh, basically, what you are going to be doing is you're going to add products which are actually accessible to the wholesale. So, you know, you're going to create different products. You're going to create different example of products by clicking on add your products, or you can even drop ship them if you want to. That depends on you. And for that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on add apps. Once you click on that, you're going to go to the Shopify app store. Now, once you click on go to Shopify app store, basically it's going to load things up and uh, you're going to search for a set specific set of apps. So over here, basically click on search apps. And this is exactly we're going to basically get a few applications. We're going to pay some extra applications and uh, things are going to be really easy to work on from there. And the fun part about the whole wholesale thing is you're just going to need to go ahead and write wholesale. OK, and here you can see it gives us the wholesale app. Obviously, don't make a spelling mistake like me. But yeah, there's different applications that come with wholesale. OK, uh, there's B2B portal. There's a B2B wholesale solution, Butterfly wholesale and dropship, wholesale gorilla and all. So there's a lot of great, you could say, uh, wholesale portals over here. OK, so go with the one with the most rating and the most reviews. But the one I would, you know, reasonably prefer would be either wholesale pricing discount, wholesale solution or actually wholesale all in one, you know, go with any of these recommended wholesale apps that the app store actually brings you. And once you've gone with these wholesale apps, what's going to happen is you're going to get a basic, um, you could say app setting. Now, the thing about these apps is that these apps are not free. There is a free plan available, but they're not exactly free. This, on the other hand, B2B Wholesale, which is a new app. It's not been long in the market, but it is totally free. You can see create wholesale or volume tier discounts pricing for different groups based on customer tags. So you can boost your B2B sales with fully customizable wholesale volume. OK, so pretty easy and pretty great stuff. Now, you can also create wholesale pages custom. OK, so you're going to come here. I'm going to go on online store. And once you come over here, you can ask people to actually have an, a wholesale application. OK, and uh, obviously you are going to need to have an idea of how you're going to edit your store for uh, these wholesale applications, because obviously wholesale refers to, you know, two possible business models. OK, a business, you know, that may buy goods in large quantities directly from manufacturers, warehouse or resell them or, you know, active buying goods in bulk from a manufacturer at a discounted price and selling to a retailer for a higher price. Okay, so basically you get a profit. So you're gonna buy some things in bulk and get a profit of selling them later. 
So for wholesale applications, we're gonna go over to the customization of our store. And once you go to the customization of your store, uh, it's gonna load things up over here. And we're gonna switch to a new page. And you can create a meta object template if you want to. But uh, in our case, I'm just gonna go ahead to a random page. I'm gonna go to pages over here. I'm gonna go to default page. And once we are here in default page, you can rename this page differently if you want to, uh, or create a new template if you want to, to be honest. But yeah, over here, what you are gonna be doing is we're gonna actually create a contact form. And to add a contact form, you're gonna come down here, click on add section. And once you click on add section, basically you're gonna have an email sign up, or you can have a contact form. And obviously a contact form would make more sense. We're just gonna bring it down here. And down here in the text bar, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know add different text widgets in this, okay? Or you can just go into contact form and you can name this contact form. Let's say I'm gonna write apply here to become a wholesale, you know? You're just gonna write this over here and people are gonna start applying to you. Now, once they apply to you, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start getting customers. Okay, so like, let's say I'm gonna save this and now you have a wholesale page. And in this wholesale page, people are gonna apply, they're going to opt for your brand and once they opt for your brand, uh, they're gonna start sending you emails through the obvious link you provided. Now, the fun part about this link is when you come to customers over here, okay, this is customers, when they actually send emails out onto your actual Shopify store page, basically in customers, you are going to be finding your basic, uh, you know, actual leads or people that actually come over to it. And uh, you can either add customers by yourself as well. Like obviously once you get those emails, you're gonna get notified on your actual email that's connected with your Shopify store that, hey, this person has opted for you know uh, your sign up form, so you know you could let them know about things and uh, a whole lot more things. You know you can uh, add them here or you can even import them in CSV. But yeah, once you've imported them and uh, you know they've given you the products for the wholesale, then what you can do is you can actually make a whole featured list and collage of the wholesale products. And to make a list or collage you know, you're gonna have to add a list of products like this. So let's say I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna click on add section to template. And uh, you know, you have a collage of products here. You have a multi-column of products, multi-row. You have collapsible content and a whole lot more. Uh, the best thing would be a collections list, which is obviously a banner. So in this collections list, obviously you can add the whole collection of the wholesale that has been sent to you. So pretty easy, pretty fun, and pretty amazing stuff to get your head around. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.